Rob Hi, and you. Anna, how are you guys today? Very well. Great, thank you. Wonderful. Greetings from Toronto. Um, oh. We love having you guys here. I would love, Rob, I think I remember interviewing you at the Toronto Film Festival for Tristram Shandy. Oh, I don't know. Just quite a few number of years ago. I know. So, it just flies by, doesn't it? It flies by. Serious... I'll tell you what was exciting about that was I'd never been to the film festival before. And I arrived uh, after a long flight and then a long car journey. I checked in and I made my way to the elevator and uh, or the lift. And as I was about to get in, the lift opened and who stepped out? Pierce Brosnan while he was still James Bond, I think. That was exciting. Well, you yeah, never so... know. You never know who's going to come out of an elevator. <laughs> it's exciting. It's exciting. Come on. Anyway, I know. And, you know, are you a little jaded or what? I mean, but honestly, Ooh. but let, let, let's just talk about this amazing series. I finished the entire thing. You guys are fabulous. This is, I really needed this laugh. So thank you so much. But, Anna, oh. I want to start with you because I would think after reading the script and knowing what you were going to play, this Lady Frances Gray, you were rubbing your hands with glee. And how yes. awful she is. Yes, I was. I just couldn't believe my luck. I couldn't believe my luck. It was so fun. And then the costumes that we got to wear oh. and the people we got to work with. I, I was, you know, blessed. I am blessed. I, I was just, this was, for me, it was a perfect part. Yeah, yeah. And Rob, for you, I mean, Lord Dudley. Uh, okay, I want to know your take. Is he a good dad or a bad dad? What do you think? Well, he's a bit like all of us, isn't he? He's a little bit good. And, and, mostly, little, bad. and mostly bad. Well, no, it's, it's quite interesting with him, isn't it? Because I, I think that there's a good heart in there somewhere, but he can't stop himself. He can't mm. help himself. I mean, he's he's having to scheme for the survival of his family. He doesn't have as much money as people think he has. You know, he's a widower now. Uh, um, and it should be cheaper, in, in, really, shouldn't it? Being a widower. You know, that's a very good point. <laughs> it's not as if she would have been going out uh, earning the money. <laughs> no, that's true. Paper addresses in. All right, uh, but but you know, it's a sad thing that he's that he's a, a widower. Um, so he's a bit of this, but that's what. That's what's nice is that it's not just a, a villain in a, in a cloak going, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, you know, yeah. th there is occasionally a softness and that's what makes it so appealing. Oh, I think he's great. I think we think he's a great dad. Do we think that? Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's on their side. He's dad of the year. Yeah. As, as the series evolved, my heart warmed to him. Yeah. I have to tell right. you. Yeah. But isn't that yeah, interesting? Exactly. That's great, you know, in a character to have that development. You may almost want to use the word arc and please feel free. Um, <laughs> it, it's it's a journey. It's an arc. It's a development. Um, but it was literally Pierce Brosnan coming out <laughs> of the lift. And I, I had no warning. And there he was. And I kind of I just went. Oh. It would have been the same too, Rob, I think for mm. sure. Um, Anna, you know, having... But you were just saying with the costumes and the sets and the cast, and it's just, to me, you know, organized chaos. Tell me a little bit about working on this series because there's just so much going on. But from a viewer's point of view, it just looks seamless. Well, you know, you get to work early and then you're in the makeup chair and they're putting your wig on and that can take ages and sometimes it hasn't set properly. You know, it's quite precarious just getting yourself or everybody, it's a team, everybody getting you onto the set. And it takes maybe a good 20 minutes just to get you into the costume and all those hoops. And then you've got to get into a car. We had to have special cars. Do you remember that could take the women? Yeah. They yeah. were like, no, no, she can't get in that car. We had to have like, vans. And if it was hot, you just could hold the van yeah. door open. You'd be letting the, the air in. So almost technically, just to get yourself in the costume onto set was sort of, was a feat. But then once we were on set, we were always really pleased. To, I mean, everyone says this, but we genuinely were also really pleased to see each other. And we yeah. always had great things to do. It wasn't like you felt, oh, my God, we've got this really long, interminable, boring, difficult scene to do. It was always, well, you, you've seen, it was fun for us, all of us, yeah. I think. Yeah. Obviously, well, it's to watch it. Day, yeah. Uh, was it fun to watch? 100%. Like, it totally comes across that you guys were having such a good time. I mean, okay, 
Rob, seriously, I want to know how much freedom you had in terms of your improvisation because you can't keep you, you know, locked up in 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 a in a in a, in a script. I mean, come on, right? If how did everybody to get Rob on set? They'd be like, say your lines that we've written. Now say yours, wouldn't they? Yeah, they were they were very. Um... Uh, Gemma and Meredith were very appreciative of any improvisation. And, and, and for me, that's a gift. So you get to say the lines as they're written, they're brilliant lines, but I will often have ideas where, well, oh, I'd love to say it with this because it's probably going to be quirkier right, because it's coming out of somebody else's mind. But Rob, when you start improvising, it's not even like you know what you're going to say. No. Yeah. It's, it is unbelievable. Oh, well. Oh, thank you. No, you um, and this was long before Daniel Craig. So this was when he was still, you know, <laughs> at, at his height. So if you picture the doors opening and he steps He's out. insane. This goes on all day long. Okay, but you wait a minute. When did it turn into Daniel Craig? I thought it was Pierce Brosnan. No, no, this like, was before Daniel Craig. So this is Pierce at the, at the height of his powers. You know, that's what I'm saying. It was, and to be in Toronto. Um, when I was in Toronto, I went for a walk one day and a guy came up and he said, oh, hi, what are you doing in Toronto? I said, I'm here for the film festival. He said, when did you get in? I said, yesterday. He said, when are you going? I said, tomorrow. He said, oh, too soon. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't take you for a Tim Hortons coffee? Come on. He didn't, no, no. Cold hearted devil. No, it was I, great fun. Hospitable. But with it being an ensemble cast, you you know you you'd get you'd have a different bunch each time. So I may have been doing scenes with Anna, or yeah. maybe with Dom, or maybe with Henry and and Emily. And so you go, oh yeah, we get this vibe with these people, this vibe. And it was never a, a, an overwhelming workload. It was just perfect, you know, enough to really get in, make your mark, get some laughs. I think they cleverly. I don't know if they intentionally wrote it so that it was never too, it was just achievable for you to still be in a good mood. That's right. And, That's I, exactly right. and that is really, you wouldn't think that was one of the most important things, but to keep everyone really engaged is yeah. not so easy when you're filming. As you, you know, when you do 35 takes of the same scene. Well, yeah, I mean, the Rob, of course. But, and I mean, you know, Frances, uh, she, she's quite naughty. Oh, yes. oh yes. Was that a stretch for you? <laughs> no. Mm. <laughs> you mean she's quite voracious? Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but wasn't it funny the way this really good-looking, very young guy is crazy about her, and she sort of can't be quite bothered, but she just wants him for sex? Yeah, yeah. She won't take I mean, his that's notes. A good, that's yeah. a good joke, isn't it? You, so you he, go, girl. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You've got the power, 100%. And I, I, yes. I want to address working with this younger cast, too, because I'm telling you, I had no idea that Emily was not British. I mean, oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Well, for, for the first, I would say, for the first four months. You didn't know either. No, what, no I, I, I'd heard, but I didn't, wouldn't have believed it. So when I first met her, she spoke in this perfect English accent all the time on the set she would keep that accent. And when she then started to talk, sometimes towards the end of the shoot, she would occasionally go American, or she came she came around to the house once. She, I, I, It was very discombobulated. Yeah, yeah. It seemed like a totally different person. I didn't recognise her because she yeah. was, um, like Rob said, she was, she was always speaking in English. And then one day she was just sitting on the floor, just chatting to somebody in her natural accent. And I didn't know who she was. I wondered who... How, who this who who was she <laughs> she's fabulous we everybody are very proud of her Emily. yeah yeah we, we're yeah, she, her. yeah wonderful i just and the chemistry between her and edward is, is absolutely wonderful too um okay i personally don't think it would be such a bad thing to be ethan like i i honestly would like to turn into an animal rob what animal would you be i'd be a golden retriever because mm. I, I have a golden retriever they're my favorite dogs and I think as long as I had a good owner, I, it would be a, a wonderful life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dog, it's a dog's life. There's no question about it. And Anna, what about you? I know I would I, like I, to be a bird. I, I, like, I like birds a lot. Maybe yeah. I'd be... I think I like cranes, you know. Oh, oh very regal. Yes. And I like their long legs and that kind of funny whack, whack. But that's a dark, <laughs> but similar. Whack, whack. <laughs> they do a sort of trumpety sound mm -hmm. okay now uh rob rob i gotta ask you a couple things here um becoming a podcaster how do you like being on the other side of it 
one. He Sorry. does everything. Well, what does that mean? Thing he doesn't do. <laughs> got five Being children. A Five Being job. a podcaster, I've been listening. Yes. Thank you because you, I, I go on daily walks and you've been really entertaining me. So I, I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Have to know though, what is it like being on the other side, being the interviewer? Well, um, uh, actually I did, I did Emily yesterday, which will come out uh, shortly. Um, okay. It's interesting. It's, I started off, I went from drama school to radio as a radio presenter. So I have a yes. background doing it and I've done a variety. I've done some talk shows and da, da, da. Yeah. Serious answer to your question is it can sometimes be difficult to get the balance right. Basically, how much I talk now, you'll never be hard for you. Yeah, right? You'll never please everybody. But some people expect an interviewer just to ask the question and then shut up. I like to get more of a conversation going. But sometimes it, it, when you're used to answering the questions and you're used to there being a value in how much so that you don't just give one word answers, but you're entertaining so so that that's that's an interesting side of it for me and i kind of from interview to interview in some i'll deliberately go i'm not going to say much in this i'm really going to be like a traditional interviewer and then yeah. in others but you know we live in this age now where you read the comments for anything and you'll never please everybody Do you read all the comments? I, I will sometimes see them i mean you never could please everybody but in that's the past right. you wouldn't know because you, you, there would be a general perception, but you wouldn't get on. It would just be talk in a pub, you know. But yeah. it's it's a fun thing to do, and we, we've I've done some um, I've done some lovely ones that I'm I'm quite proud of to have that sort of catalogue of work. She's blissfully unaware of it. You take no interest in my career. <laughs> no, I didn't well, know. I that. was going to say Anna should be a guest. I think. I would love to give you a thorough probing. Don't in, don't interrupt me all the time. What? <laughs> Would you like Lady to Francis would love that I thorough prompting. I would love to have you in it. To say. Oh, I think we know you have. Okay, okay. And Anna, just also just going back in your illustrious career, my God, thank you for all your great performances. But do people still refer to you as Ducky? I mean, come on, yes. it's so classic. Okay. And so many years later. Yes. No, I, I'm very grateful to Duckface. Duckface. Um, so yes. I, sorry, I, I don't know why I said Ducky. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I have yeah. no, um, I have no problem with that. Yeah, people still a bit, a bit, but um, yeah, but I'm, it's I'm lovely it, about that. It, it, you know, the good thing about streaming is that these movies are new to somebody every day, and these shows and things that you guys do, you know. And and uh, my last question, Rob, any more trips with Steve Coogan? Well, we've always said, you know, when we finished the last one, which was about four or five years ago. It was just pre-pandemic. We said that maybe if we waited about 10 years, you know, and if God willing, Steve was still alive, it would be a nice thing to do. So I think it's... How many years is it then? It's been about four or five now. It's dependent on Steve's health. I, I'm, I don't just mean physical. Yeah, I get it. I get yeah. it. Well, listen, I would love to see that. But right now, I'm telling you, my lady Jane, you guys are just, you knocked it out of the park. This series is absolutely wonderful. I really appreciate both your time today. And uh, thank you. Have a, a great rest of your day. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for the time. Bye-bye. Thank you. It's really nice to hear. Thank you. Thank you.